that I, this is the front page of their paper, auction for salvation for the right price and atheists will go to a house of worship with an open mind. I love the first sentence. It's the opposite of selling your soul to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> But they had this auction, like they did this, this is the front page banner headline, and, it, and I say it's a local paper, but that local paper has a big readership. So all of a sudden this local paper was interested, and I think that helped get the word out as well. So that was the second piece of the puzzle. The third thing I did to try to get people even knowing that I'm doing this auction is I figured, okay, maybe I could tell some people online. Maybe there are people online that are interested in this. And I'm thinking, what type of people would really be interested or offended by an atheist trying to get money to go to church? And I, the first thought that went through my head is, Republicans. <laughs> so I asked some friends, do you know any Republican websites or bloggers? And one friend actually said, uh, there's a popular one called the Dawn Patrol. You can even see her logo, that's a cross. <laughs> she might be interested. So I found this blogger and she had her contact information on the page. I sent her an email saying, um, hey, I don't, you don't know me, but I'm doing this auction. Can you write about it? Within a minute, she wrote back to me. She's like, it's up on the site. <laughs> okay. And I go on her website, and basically what she said is, there's an atheist doing this auction. She excerpted my eBay auction. And then she added, because I sent her my email from like Hemant at secularstudents.org, my uh, SSA email address. She said, by the way, I checked out his email address, and I think he's legit about he, him really being an atheist, I think he's serious and sincere about doing this, so you guys may want to check it out. And as, she's popular. As soon as a popular blogger writes about something, everyone in the world knows about it. And all of a sudden, all these websites across the blogosphere, across the internet, are writing about this auction. And all of a sudden, after a couple days, I get a $10 bid. That went up to 50 bucks, and I'm thinking, crap. And then it goes up to 100. And now I'm thinking, this is not what I had in mind. <laughs> and then basically, within the course of the week, I still have three or four days left, because uh, I said this auction would be a week long, seven days. I get a couple emails in addition to all those questions people are asking me. One email is from a reporter, another reporter, saying, hey, I'm kind of interested. I'll bite. What are you doing? And you know, we started talking. And I also got an email from a guy that says, hey, I work on a radio show. Have you ever heard of Kirk Cameron? And my first thought was, oh, Kirk Cameron, he was on Growing Pains. <laughs> and he's like, you want to do the show? I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> so I sent off that email, and then I'm like, what is Kirk Cameron up to? <laughs> and you go on YouTube, and you type in Kirk Cameron, and you realize he's hosting a fundamentalist Christian radio show, TV show. And the most famous thing online is him and his partner Ray Comfort uh, sitting in an open field talking about how the banana is the atheist host right there. And I'm watching this and I'm thinking, this is Kirk Cameron? And you watch a couple more of their videos and I realize they play a game on almost every one of their episodes. They basically go on the street and they do man on the street interviews and they go up to people. Can I get a volunteer for a second? I'm asking. Can I get a volunteer for a second? What's your name? Terry. What is it? Terry. Terry. Are you a good person, Terry? Absolutely. Well, I don't know. Who's <laughs> Alright. Well, have you ever lied? Yeah. What does that make you? That makes you a liar. <laughs> have you ever stolen anything? Uh, yes. What does that make you? Uh, a thief. <laughs> a thief. A thief. And have you ever taken the Lord's name in vain? What does that make you? Uh, that makes you a blasphemer. So let me ask you again, Terry. Are you a good person? <laughs> yes. And yet you're a lying, stealing, blasphemer. <laughs> On the day of judgment, are you going to heaven or hell? You're going to hell. <laughs> they go to random people on the street and tell them they're going to hell. And so I know I'm going to go on this radio show, and I know they're going to ask me those questions, and I know I'm going to give the same answers. If I'm honest, I'm going to give the same answers Terry gave. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do I avoid this? How do I get out of this line of questioning? And I ask my friends about to say, how do I get out of this? And they're like, you just have to avoid it. Don't get into that conversation. And I'm thinking, you know what? They asked me on the show to talk about the eBay auction. Hopefully they're interested in this dialogue. You know, maybe they won't talk about it. So I go on the show. They spend two minutes talking about the eBay auction and 38 minutes telling me why I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and that, it, it's on satellite radio. I can't hear this live, but that night, I downloaded their episode from their website, 
and after, it's weird hearing yourself on the radio, because um, I, I hadn't done that before, but it's really strange. But after I had hung up the phone with them, you could hear Kirk Cameron and his partner saying, we just got off the phone with a fool. Not our words, the Bible's words. And then Kirk Cameron made fun of me for the next like hour and a half, which I gotta tell you, greatest day of my life. <laughs> was like mad at me, that's awesome. <laughs> so anyway, this whole thing happens, um, and by the time this ends, then, <laughs> by this time it's Friday, it's the last day of the auction, and if you've ever been on eBay, anytime there's a popular auction, no one actually bids on whatever you're selling until the last minute, because they don't want to put their bid out there and have someone beat them. So everyone waits until the last possible second, and then they're all going to pounce at the last second. Now, if you're smart, you know everyone's going to do that, so you're ready to like beat them, and you're like going to go in like a minute before or something. So basically, this auction goes up. At this point, by the way, on Friday afternoon, it's at like three hundred dollars, and I'm freaking out because that's a month of my life. <laughs> and then I'm watching because I know it's going to go up. And I had gotten an email like from people saying, you know, are you serious about this? I know one guy had said, you know, I'm from a I'm, I'm a Christian. I want to know if you're actually serious about going to church if I if I win this auction. And I wrote back, I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. So, I mean, there were people interested. What ended up happening is you had Christians bidding that I go to their denomination of church. <laughs> and then you had atheists bidding that I don't go to church at all. And they just set each other off. So it kept going higher and higher. <laughs> By the end of this auction, you know, the, the minute or two minutes before it's ending, I'm just clicking refresh on the eBay page. And every time I click refresh, there's another 30, 40 people clicking, like, clicking on the site. And the price is just going up. And the last minute, like 10 seconds left, it was $400. At six seconds left, it's like $450. At one second left, it's like $500. And then at the very last second, someone came in with a $504 bid. Because they knew someone was going to bid $500, so they were ready with the higher price. And, okay, so it ended at $504. And now I'm scared, because I'm like, what the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> and I looked at who won the auction. And I was like, okay, that screaming, have I talked to that person? Like, did that person email me? It turned out he did. He was one of the pastors that said, are you serious about this? And so I was like, oh, I remember. He said he worked with this website called, like, Off the Map, for an online ministry called Off the Map. I go to the Off the Map website, and all of a sudden, their head headline on the thing says, we won the eBay atheist. This <laughs> is a second after the auction ends. And I'm like, how do they do that? <laughs> Later, the guy told me, you know, we knew in our hearts we were going to win, so we had the code all set up, and as soon as we actually won, we just put it up there. Um, so, this guy won the auction. So we talked on the phone the next day, and he said, you know what, we'll make a deal. You owe us 50 weekends of church, he said, 50 Sundays of church, so like church for a year. I'm a former pastor. This, this guy's name is Jim. He's like, I'm a former pastor. Here's what I do at my ministry. We pay people $25, people who don't go to church, we pay them $25 to go to a church service and just sit there on a Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. And then we have them fill out a survey, and they give it to us, we give them the $25. And then we go to these pastors who say, my job as a Christian pastor is to bring people into the faith. And we say, you know what, here's someone who's not in your faith, here's the survey they took of how did they like the sermon, how did they like the music, was the chair comfortable, are you closer to God? Here's what they said. So, you know, if you're so serious about reaching out to people not who are unchurched, here's what they said about you. And in that way, he was hoping as a pastor to help Christian pastors bring in more people so they can improve their services. He even said, you know, we offer a service. It's supposed to help people. So are we doing it? He said, you know what, you owe us 50 weeks of church. Let's forget that. How is this? You live in Chicago. We'll go, you'll go to 10 different churches around Chicago, different ones, and write about them, not on your website, that whatever you're going to create, write about it on my ministry's website, and we'll call it a deal. I was happy because it's 10 churches instead of 50. <laughs> and he was happy because he's like, you know, he's like hiring me as an atheist intern to go to all these places. <laughs> and so that's the agreement we reached. I'll go to 10 different churches.